who has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord, Jim. Praise the Lord, sir. Okay, brother David. Yes. Yes. Good morning, sir. And I asked to meet. It's nice to see you here. And I have a lot of testimonies and from the believers and from the, you know, as you know that I'm doing online ministries and praying for others online. So I got this week, I think, so three or four testimonies from the people. And and there is there was sister in Chhattis uh, Chhattisgarh. So yeah, I think Chhattisgarh. And she, wherever she use, use, take food, so always she is smiling, I, I think so dirty is smiling, always coming for that time. So she shared this thing, this, this prayer request with me, and then I pray for her, and then after that she got, got healing, I, she got healing, after that she shared testimony, she said, now I'm free from this smiling, she said, I can eat anything, and that smiling not coming out. And so there is a brother, and there was a brother in Haryana, Haryana, and so he was so so much depression, and one month and fifteen days he was depression, and even though he is, he tried to suicide also, and I have this clip also. He say always to me, brother, please pray for me. He don't, he doesn't have job, didn't have job, so he was telling telling me, please pray for me, otherwise I suicide. Then yesterday he got a new and new and good job so to, so today he has shared testimony so i upload that testament in my instagram and facebook and in my whatsapp group so and I, also one sister also she was in from amritsar she was i think she was she was ill and sick very very sick and after that uh, after prayer i pray for her and she got healing from the lord and now all glory and honor to jesus christ because jesus really doing great thing in the life of the people and yeah i believe that he is using me even though i am in even though i don't know what is uh, how god is working in me because whatever you know whatever i am telling to the people about their lives about their life that is true means uh, as a prophetical as, as a prophet as a pro i'm doing ministry as a prophetical so i am whatever i'm seeing saying whatever whatever God is showing me and I am telling the people and that is the truth. Even though I shocked also how it is possible. How it is possible. So today also I was thinking, it, I, 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 I was telling to the one person who was online, uh, online watching my service. So Spirit of God is telling me something about her and about, about her and then I was speaking to, uh, speaking to, her, to her and then she, 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 she gave me a message, she said, Brother, whatever you are speaking about me, that was true. So, so that mm -hmm. is my testimony from ministry. And yeah, God is faithful to me and always he is faithful. So all glory and honor to Jesus Christ. I am nothing without Jesus, but Jesus is in me, everything. Praise the Lord, brother. Akshay, wonderful to hear how God is using you. And Amen. you are you are still remaining there in Malaysia at this time, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, wow, praise the Lord that you are continuing to reach out online and to minister in ways. Wonderful so I, thing. I'm collecting all testimonies and uploading my Facebook and uploading my Instagram. The people may get increased and that they may believe Jesus through testimonies, right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, good. Does another person have a testimony uh, to share, uh, especially maybe a meeting you were able to have? Anyone else? Please, please share the opportunity you have had here. Who has a testimony? Yes. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yes. Go ahead, Thank you, sir. Father. Yes. 
I am Bablal and from yes. from Bihar. Yes. My testimony is I am not perfect, but when I am praying for the people, and whenever I pray for the people, sick people, and people are get heal, and people are come those who are in the darkness. When I share the word of God, people are come in the really people are coming in the Christian and and then just and accept the Jesus Christ. And five days before, <coughs> I have no money. Then I need money, but I have no money. Then when I pray for the uh, pray for the money, then people when I need, then people started to come in my home and started to the, give money five hundred, two hundred like that. Huh. My testimony, sir. Praise the Lord. God is meeting your uh, financial need also as you pray for people and healing and leading people to accept Christ. Praise the Lord. There in Bihar, wonderful. Praise the Lord, brother. Amen. That's wonderful to hear. Amen. Yes, brother. Uh, 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 Love who is praying for you. And I would like to say thank you, sir, for this opportunity. Yes. And today I received an opportunity to share uh, some of the word of God to those who are with me in the REN. They are all non-Christians, but mm. we, I have some two, three Christian brothers here in the STEM campus. So I went to a bookstore today and I bought, uh, I got some Bible track and I have yeah. here with them in their own dialects in Manipuri language. It was written in Manipuri language and uh, I have shared to them to read uh, for themselves and they willingly accept it. So uh, this is what uh, I have done for this last week, sir. Praise the Lord. So you were able to find the gospel written in their own language, which. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Which is a great, um, a great uh, uh, open door for them because they can read it in their own mother tongue, their own language. Praise the Lord. Amen. Will you see, will you see these individuals again? Yes, we are staying together in the same range, sir. Okay. Just different room. Okay. Well, praise the Lord. So maybe after they read that, you could invite them to have a Bible study with you. Um, that would be a wide open door for you. Yes. The problem is that all of them are very much busy in earning money. They came, they went, wake up early in the morning and they went for their work, came back late. And uh, so I just made morning and evening only with them. Yes. Yes. Well, God could open the door. So we should pray for that. Um, that God will give you that opportunity. Amen. Praise the Lord for your step of faith to get those tracks and be that witness. Amen. Amen. Good. Anyone else with a, a testimony here as we begin? Anyone else? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Okay. Yes, Aruna. Yes. <clears throat> sir, you know my testimony. Uh, last last time I saw I tell already uh, six person give baptized. And I, I train this uh, lady, 2 October, uh, 2nd October, and there was a, yeah. a ladies' women's fellowship, and that time teach us, and then after six person is like baptized, this is our um, testimony. 
but sir lord jesus give us many 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 blessed so little little little, little too much too much we have testimony mm. and the testimony we sharing maybe two days three days no finish <laughs> too much <laughs> Praise uh, the Lord. So, <clears throat> when we believe uh, in Jesus Christ, that day from now till this time, many, many, many blessed. Amen. So now we together in full time ministry, me and my husband, and before we uh, we do not ministry. That time I work in embassy, American embassy. Some uh, our ambassador ambassador house is cook. I have cooking that time, and uh, and my husband also doing some secular job, no ministry that time. Only we are become believer, and and three four years after they make uh, they become pastor, and that time also part time job he's doing. And after ministry, only on only Sunday preach gospel, and day at night time little bit one day house visit only that is. But that time we have no blessed sir. That that time no miracle our life. But when we decide, uh, you know, when we no hearing, no hear God word, and we we do not follow word of god then god hit hit us little bit loving hit you know loving hit. yes <laughs> yeah and god yes. hit me and i that day i'm sickness and uh gallbladder is uh, stone too much maybe six seven eight years uh, before this gallbladder is stone but huh. that time, uh, I I will only promise, okay, Lord, I will I will do your work. I will teach. I will go spot in the midnight of uh, women's. I only only say, only only lie, telling lie with God. But mm. but but I cannot do work. I do not work. Only only say, oh God, I, I do. Oh you you have miracle my life. You are like this like this like this. But I'm going only secular job, secular job. But one day God hit me and gallbladder is stone. Then after take operation, that time also no money, but pastor reason pray, 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 and some believers help, then get uh, operation. Then operation after I have no allergy, uh, energy, uh, very weak, no? So how do work secular job? How, how do secular job? Nothing. Then after I decide, oh God, sorry. Now I am, I give full time ministry mm. in your work. Then maybe this uh, four, five years, four years almost. Now I am coming, uh, doing in ministry full time. Now nothing secular job, nothing salary. <laughs> So my husband also, my husband also no secular job, no wow. no uh, salary. Wow. We together empty, but we are doing ministry. So now, anything we need, maybe tomorrow, I love chicken. I want to eat chicken. We pray. Oh God, we have no money, but I want to uh, eat chicken. I want to eat fish, no? So we pray, and and I'm so immediately. God provide us. Somebody, uh -huh. some some believer came, some believer came and bring one kilo chicken, and some believer came. What do you what, what do you pray? Chicken. Then they bring chicken, and you pray fish. Then the believer bring peace like this, sir. So God provide us, and 
if you have if you nothing your milk also finished for tea so oh, wilson pastor what to do tomorrow we have no meal what to do some believer came somebody came then how do we uh, serve a tea oh, without milk this is uh, very sad so what to do okay no problem we pray we pray uh, we kneel down we pray and again god listen our uh, hearing our prayer and some believer send and they believer bring a uh, milk two two packet milk and sugar and tea leaf they bring so this is very very uh, shock and very very um, miracle sir so this uh, this uh, during this way this time is uh, any problem any things we need we pray god provide so i think and i say my husband look before you also work and 15000 16000 year salary me also 20000 25000 salary that time very very problem no but now we have no job but we are together doing ministry but wow. everything god provide you need chicken mm -hmm. They, they bring chicken they send chicken some with some believer and you you want the fish uh god provide fish ah he send some believer uh fish so i i i tell tell him if we are doing secular job mm -hmm. they giving us salary okay we'll send your salary fifteen thousand Okay, Aruna, your salary twenty thousand. Now we are doing ministry. Then God yeah. know, God know, God provide. But God didn't say, Wilson, your salary this much, and Aruna, your salary this much, this thousand. But if you need one lakh rupees, ah, ten thousand, twenty thousand, immediately they provide us. Wow. Because our God is a living God. Yes. So God is not foolish. God is very wis wisdom man. So we are doing his ministry. Then this is responsibility. God, he, what is need for Wilson? What needs Aruna? Because they have no house. They they living in rent house. And they need uh, uh, ration, rice, everything. So God no. So, sir, we are now when we uh, doing this uh, ministry. Now is we are very very happy. No problem, anything. No fooding problem. No clothing problem. No rent house problem. No nothing. Every people come. Every guest coming, we provide everything: milk, tea, meat, chicken, rice, everything. And two day, two three days, they live. They stay in my house. No problem. So, sir, this is my great, uh, my testimony is more than more. I have testimony, but when we sharing, then I say you, I told you, uh, maybe two, three days, no finish. This is that Praise is. the Lord. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Praise the Lord. What a great encouragement um, to hear how that God is continuing to answer your prayer and just meet your need just like uh just like uh, uh elijah and the bird and the that is just bringing you the daily meal and uh, yes, caring for lockdown sir lockdown also somebody some people has a ration problem uh but we are eating everyday chicken sir every day oh. uh, yes wow <laughs> god because uh, my believer is uh, some uh, work now Indian house, some work, uh, uh, foreigner house, cook, housekeeper, and they bring, oh, pastor, pastor, me, uh, now is lockdown, how is doing, how is going, your, they, they bring one kg chicken, somebody one day after, they bring uh, one kilo fish, like this, like this, no, every day we eat fish, chicken, egg, no problem, sir, mm. lockdown also, well, yes. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen. Amen, amen. Well, today, what I want us to do here together, um, as we have come here down to the final module of our training in module six, 
has been the disciple making meeting, the three part disciple making meeting. And I want us to do a Bible study together from Luke chapter 10. Let's look at Luke chapter 10. And we are going to um, follow this pattern that we have uh, seen uh, that we handed out to you before. Uh, this three-part disciple makers meeting. Um, and we want to follow that here today. The first part is part one, where we look back. The second part is where we look up, and that is looking into the word of God. And then the third part is where we look forward and we talk about obedience and sharing the gospel and sharing the truth uh, with others. And we have just begun just now with testimonies of worship and thanksgiving, uh, which we just began uh, to do. Um, and as we begin, it would be good to, for us to pray uh, and see if anyone has a need that we can pray for here as we begin. Um, I have asked you as far as opportunities uh, that you have had in ministry, uh, reaching out here. Um, Brother Akshay gave us a testimony of his online ministry. Um, and uh, Brother Bobby Lal, people accepting Christ there in Bihar. Um, and uh, Brother Andrew even giving us testimony about the tracts that he obtained and gave to some non-Christians living there near with him and in their own language. So that is, the, that is our fishing for people. That is our ministry that God is giving to us. Um, and even Aruna shared about how God has led her to obey in full-time ministry and God's hand for that. Um, so um, that is uh, uh, that is here how uh, we want to uh, follow this pattern here this uh, uh, in this time here together. Uh, let's um, does someone have a a prayer burden, something that we could pray for together um, as we begin here our class, maybe some some need or some ministry opportunity, um, maybe some persecution uh, or uh, some situation that we can pray together for um, as we begin uh, this, uh, this three-part meeting. Anyone have a matter of prayer? Well, uh, and I for giving me such a wonderful privilege so that I could share my uh, my prayer request. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I I shared a gospel. I shared gospel with one of my friends. He was a very old friend of mine, and uh, I was I was praying for him, and I was asking God to you know to to uh, create a situation or circumstances in such a way so that I could uh, share with him uh, the love of God. And yesterday I was able to do it, and he received Christ into his life. So he has he, he is suffering from uh, a, a disease. Uh, I don't know the name of the disease, but he was saying that the, the abdomen comes up to the chest, and uh, he he it it becomes very difficult for him to breathe. So and uh, as I have already shared Christ with him. So I I want uh, I I will appreciate if we all could pray for his complete healing. Yesterday I prayed for him, and I want that you know when we the saints of the Lord come together and we pray for him, I know that God will surely work in his life and he will surely have a testimony. Amen, brother. What is his name? His name is Rahul. Rahul, R-A-H-U-L. Rahul, okay. Well, let's pray for Rahul. Rahul. Wonderful request here. Um, amen. Thank you, brother. Um, Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. 
Yeah, I want to give one prayer request. Since from last months, uh, uh, we have our, some crisis in my church. Yeah. So as only we solved the problems yesterday. So I would like to request to pray again to have a lasting, peaceful believers for my church. Yes. Amen. Well, good. Let's pray for that, for the peace among the, the church believers there. Amen. And you are, is that in Manipur? Uh, I'm man, in Manipur, in Paul. In Paul. In Paul, yes. Maha, yeah. Mahabali Bhakti Church. In Mahabali Bhakti Church. Praise the Lord, sir. Amen. Yes, go ahead. Uh, sir, I have a prayer request for my father. Uh, my father, he has a cancer in his uh, right neck. And uh, uh, on the prophet, had prophesied that, that uh, uh, five men will be die. And then the four men was the fulfilled, the four men must die. And the prophet, again, he came and said that the Lord has added you a new life for my father. So please pray continue so that God may continually uh, protect him from the sickness from the yeah. okay <clears throat> okay let's pray for your father's protection and healing from neck pain okay good excuse me sir yes sir, last, uh, last day i told already this uh, six person take baptized and three person going the village in the cut cut the there's a uh, rice harvest. harvest. So this lady today uh, called me and, and, and she, she said, she say, uh, Madam, please you pray because uh, our village is uh, too much raining, raining mm. Mm. and non-stop raining. So almost is our harvest is uh, waste. When uh, water raining didn't stop, then our harvest is waste. So pray for this situation. So I say, uh, you know, in the Bible, uh, Elisa went pray. Then three years and six months, uh, uh, no raining stop. And again, they pray. Then again, rain start. So they also same. With, with us, the men. And now uh, God hearing his prayer, then why not God hear our prayer? You pray yes. this situation, yes. we also pray this situation. So I give this situation her. So sir, please uh, pray. The, this area is a uh, is Nepal border, sir. This area is Nepal border. Is a mm. village uh, name is Khatima. Okay. Hatima, yes. And here in Delhi also, sir, too much raining. Yesterday, uh, Sunday, too much raining. Saturday night also raining. Now it stopped. The weather also not good, sir. Yes. Well, let's pray for that there in that Katima village. Yes. 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 Okay. Amen. Sure. Sure. Yes, brother. Sir, please, I want. Um, sir, please uh, pray for my this uh, new place, sir. For my ministry, sir, here. Pray for my ministry, this uh, new place, sir. In your new, in a new place. Ah, uh, sir, new place here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Pray for some new disciples there. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Are you in the same village or a new village? Uh, uh, I have came. Uh, I have come from a new new place, new village, sir. Okay. Some little uh, 
towns are here. Okay, yes. Amen. All right. Well, let us pray for these requests. Um, and uh, brother, uh, let's see. Um, Pastor uh, Rajan, I wonder if you could lead us in prayer um, for these requests here, if you can remember those. Um, and then I also will pray. Um, but let's pray for these here as we as we begin. Yes, sir. Uh, once okay. again, once please remember it now. Just uh, repeat that pra uh, prayer request. Um, the the request we have uh, brother Rajan, his friend Rahul, who was saved yesterday and has need for complete healing. His difficulty with his abdominal and his breathing. Um, then Brother Alung with the church crisis and the peace to remain in the church of Impal. And then uh, Christian with his uh, father, neck pain and that protect him from sickness. And then um, Aruna just praying for the too much rain, the rain to stop there in the village. And, uh, and then Brother Siwak in his new area of uh, ministry, the new village. So pray for those. Oh, Pastor Rajan. Yes, yes. Uh, my father is uh, not neck pain. He has a skin cancer in his neck. Okay, okay. Skin cancer. Skin cancer. Okay. okay. Yes. Your father names, brother? Wang Yong. Okay, okay. Very difficult to pronounce it, no? Yes, yes. It's difficult. I will pray for your father, no? I can use father, yes. Okay. okay. Let's pray. All right. Yes. Let's pray. Associate with me. Okay, Father, I thank you and praise you for this wonderful and opportunity time to come to you. I pray for those prayer requests that come to us to pray, and I commit all those prayer requests into your hand. I pray for Pastor Rajan Kujur, French, he is sick. Mm -hmm. I pray for Brother. Uh, Pammai, father, skin cancer. Mm. Pray for that. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a heal in the name of, there is a heal, blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Be with them. Please guide them, whatever they have situation. All the situation, whatever they have circumstance, all the circumstance, Pray from that, so Lord, pray for the Alun who is in Myanmar, who is in Manipur. Lord Jesus, whatever situation gone in their church, Lord, there is the peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Your mm. peace will be there with them. Those mm. attending their church, those who are serving in the name of Jesus Christ, through that, Lord Jesus, please be with them and guide them and sustain them in peace with them, Lord. Father, I pray for Madam Aruna. She has said her prayer request. Lord, I commit into your hand. Where is floating much, Lord Jesus? Raining is too much. Lord Father, mm -hmm. as Elia prayed that rain, Lord Jesus, I will pray for that situation, Lord Jesus. You will hear our prayer, Lord Jesus. You will give our prayer answer. We believe that, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, mm -hmm. I pray for that Pastor Sevo, who is in Punjab. Mm -hmm. He there to do ministry in your ministry, Lord Jesus. And as he shared that new place, Mm -hmm. Plan to span your believers and your ministry. Lord Jesus, you give him, gave him, Lord Jesus, that new place to ministering. Lord Jesus, those who are surrounding that place mm -hmm. for the 
those people who are attending with the pastor Shiva, Father, give him wisdom and knowledge and give him strength and power to more and more. Give him, Lord Jesus, how to teach about the Bible, Lord Jesus. Please mm -hmm. with them, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, those prayer requests, I submit into your hand, Lord. I pray, ask in, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, we agree together as we share our burdens and opportunities that you would work in each one of these situations. We glorify you as our sister Aruna has testified how you are so faithful to hear our prayer and answer our, our, our need. And we pray that you would be glorified as the Father, our Father in heaven, who will meet our need. And, uh, and use our witness and transform lives. And uh, Lord, we thank you for this time together. We ask you to meet and guide. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, okay. Well, we have the great vision in front of us to plant churches, to multiply disciples in, uh, through our lives and through our ministry. So that is why we are here, and we want to look at the passage of Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, and we want to see these verses, um, verses 1 to 11, verses 1 to 11. We want to learn these, this passage uh, together to study it together by asking questions and uh, discussing what we see in this passage. So um, let us look here at uh, Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 11. Um, so let us all uh, participate here and read this passage. Uh, together. I wonder, Brother uh, Shaktiman, would you be willing to read the Bible passage for us? Can you read these verses, Luke chapter 10 and verses 1 to 11? As he is finding that passage, um, remember what we want to do as he reads this passage, we will be then, um, he will read this passage and then we will just summarize the passage and then we will discuss the passage together according to our uh, disciple makers meeting. Um, so we are in this section here of looking up, which is studying the new lesson, the new Bible passage uh, together. Um, so Brother Shaktiman, can you read for us uh, Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 11? Luke chapter 10, 1. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where the himself he was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the <clears throat> Harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. 
carry no money bag no uh, knapsack no sandals and greet no one on the road whatever house you enter first say peace be to this house and if a son of peace is there your peace will rest upon him but if not it will return to you and remain in the same house eating and drinking what they provide for the laborer deserves his wages do not go from house to house whenever you enter a town and they receive you eat what is set before you heal the sick in eat and say to them the kingdom of god has come near to you but whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you go into your streets and say even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off against you nevertheless no this that the kingdom of god has come near amen amen thank you brother yes. uh brother uh shaktiman very very good um wow there is some wonderful things that we see in this passage wonderful wonderful things and uh as he has read through it for the first time um just uh, uh what is it that in this passage um that stands out to you what is it that you like from this passage just maybe one thing that you notice that is happening here in this section what do you notice what do you see i notice that uh, before jesus go to the town he is sending his disciples so uh, and and the disciples are being sent uh, two by two Amen. Yes, that is wonderful observation. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else. Uh, I can understand from Luke chapter ten, verse twenty, the parables of the certain certain men's. Went down from the Jerusalem to the coast. So, since the Bible verses taught us that love your neighbors, because if you don't love your neighbors, if you don't have love, we cannot fulfill our ministry or we cannot obey the words of God. I think so. Okay. Um, that yeah, that is in a different in a different passage than the one we are reading. That is very true. What you have said, um, thank you for that. Uh, let's stay focused right on these verses, this particular passage that we are looking at. Someone else? Yes, sir. From yes, this yes. passage, we uh, I understood that the God that sent the seventy two by two is the god of jehovah jireh who provides all the needs and also we, i learned that every god's minister uh should have no worry for our uh, physical uh, uh life for god our jehovah jireh is with us and the third point i learned is our God is uh, the God that sent this seventy-two by two is a God of omnipotence, and He can heal uh, through us. This is what 
uh, I learned from this texture. Amen. Amen. That is right there. Good. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. 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 Sir, first of all, is uh, so according to first of all, sorry, here chapter uh, two say, uh, two say, therefore, said he into them the harvest really is great, but their laborers are uh, few. Pray it, therefore, the Lord of the harvest that he would send for our laborers into his harvest. First of all, sir, this the two chapter is a uh, is end of day, sir. So harvest is all people are must be ready to go heaven, no ill. Mm -hmm. So God choose us and they give big command, go and preach and make disciple. So this is a great command. And surely must be we should make disciple and go preach. And that time, this not necessary. Maybe all people is except Jesus, but go ahead. This is our duty, our responsibility. If they ready uh, respect uh, Jesus, then okay. No, except that this okay. Mm. But this is our duty uh, because this is our responsibility. And this not necessary also, uh, when we go preach that time, maybe they provide you chicken meat, chicken meat, rice. No, maybe sometimes they poor man. Maybe someday you uh, empty empty stomach, you can uh, maybe uh, sleep. No? But this is our duty and responsibility. We must be do any anyway, any time, any situation. This Amen. is God work. So, yes. but we don't afraid, don't afraid, but we must be do God word, preach God word, and we tell. And this is end of time. If you not accept, then one day is your situation is very dangerous because end of day. We must be we should be this preach gospel. Mm. Yes, sir. Amen. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And the other person. Some, someone else. Uh, sir, your question yes, was sir. what? Is okay, yes, go ahead. Yes, Pastor, you should ask, go ahead. Yeah, praise the Lord, sir. <coughs> yes, please. sir, go according ahead. to my. Yeah, according to my understanding, this passage, sir, the harvest is plentiful and but laborers are few. Yes. Uh, so God want to send uh, the each one and to the among the people, and uh, the we we want to show them peace and joy for joy. Yes. And uh, uh, when we'll share the go when we'll share the gospel, and they should receive the uh, gospel. And they can uh, uh, receive the blessing from the God. So God want to save uh, save the every people. That's why God want to send us. Yes. This is my concept, sir. Amen. That is that is true. Amen. God wants us. He wants to send laborers to bring the message of peace and joy. Aha! Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Did another person? Yes. We have here in this passage, as we are noticing this passage, um, the we want to ask ourselves um this question here um what is it that you 
what do you learn about God? And then what do you learn about people? And already the things you have mentioned are along those two lines of what do we learn about God? What do we learn about people? Um, so maybe we can ask those two questions and a few more people can help us answer those questions. In this passage, what do we learn about God? And what do we learn about people? Um, people who may be believers as well as people who may be unbelievers. We can learn different parts about people in this passage. So what do we learn about God? What do we learn about people? Um, who can help us answer those questions? Excuse me, sir. In this passage, yes. I learn about God is... A God, he has a burden for the lost soul. So he want a people to go and work. About God is he has a burden. He loves his creation. And about people I learned is uh, the disciple, they are obedience. They obey and they go. Amen. Wonderful, Christian. Perfect. Uh, good, good. Another person. Yes, sir. Y yes. Yes, sir. So, Jesus is saying us also today, sir. Go, and those who are living in the darkness, bring out them also from in the darkness, sir. Darkness, sir. Mm. Mm. Amen. Yes, Amen. Jesus tells us to go and bring people out of the darkness. Yes, sir. Amen. Very clear. Very clear. Good. Some other person. Yeah, what else? Uh... Uh, I'm yes. sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, what I observe is that uh, God wants us to uh, be completely dependent on Himself. Mm. When He said, you know, in verse uh, four, it says, you know, you should not take, you know, any wallet or uh, things that uh, whatever you require that will be taken care by God Himself. Wow, yes. Yeah, that's about God. Yeah, and about uh, about men, there will be two kind of people we will be meeting. Uh, when, when, uh, when Jesus is talking to the disciple, he's saying two kind of people we can expect. Uh, number one, those who will receive us in their house. And number two, those who will not receive us in their houses. So... How, how do we need to behave uh, in that situation? Oh, very good, ap a very good observation. So your question is very good. So these two kinds of people that we will meet, yeah. one who receives us, one yeah. who does not receive us, yeah. and how should we respond to each of these two kinds of people? Yes. So how do we respond to the ones who receive us? Uh, so the one who receives us, we should remain in their houses. We, we should remain in their houses. When we go to them, we need to bless the house. If the people of the house are, are eligible or able, uh, the, the blessing will remain there. Yes. Yes. Amen. So if we remain, mm -hmm. what do we do as we remain? Papa, 
as we remain, we bless them. That's good. What else do we do as we remain? As those who receive us and we remain, we will bless them. What else do we see? Yeah, we we need to we need to eat the food that they give us. Yes, and, uh, and we need not uh, go uh, go to people's house, you know, other houses. We need to remain in that house. The the people, those who have received us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't want to just be going from one house just to the next to the next, but in this particular village, we find someone who receives us and we want to have a strong relationship with them. Yes. We want to get close to them, spend time with them. We want to teach them. Um, and uh, what will be the result of as we spend that kind of time and remain? What do you think God will do through our present, <clears throat> through our presence? in those lives. Mm. God will bless those people yes. who have received us. So yes. through us, uh, we will be a blessing to, to the people of that house. Yes. And And then uh, we will be we will be healing the people uh, of that house. So yes. through us, God will do miracles and healing. He will perform miracles and healing in that house. Yes. And uh, this will demonstrate the kingdom of God has come. And those Amen. people. Those that house will now become a witness to other houses. Absolutely, yes. And the gospel will spread in that in that way. Very, yes. very. So this is how we respond to those who receive us, and then how do we respond to those who do not receive us? Can someone find that one? How do we respond to those who do not receive us? Yeah, was not possible. Do you see that? Do we see that in verse 10 and 11? Yes. We are to go uh, into the streets of the same and say that even the very dust of your city, which cliff on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Hmm. So the Lord, what is, how do you understand that? What is he saying? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes. Actually, sir, uh, Jesus came, lost people, and Jesus came is a sinner people. So must be we go and preach 
these people uh, who have who have uh, received belief jesus or not we go another gentiles house because jesus came is sinner people jesus mm -hmm. came lost people jesus mm -hmm. came poor people and jesus came sickness people so mm -hmm. must be this our responsibility they have to go heaven and they have to know jesus who is jesus mm -hmm. so, so there is luke chapter 10 verses 3 go here you are where behold i send you forth as lamb among wolves mm -hmm. because here is in the earth here not all are believer because another person is too much uh, uh, Hindu religion, another another religion. This yes. is uh, God say this is is wolf, no sin. Yes. This wolf, yes. but lamb is a uh, Christian believer who believe Jesus. So we believe. He must we go this house, wolf house, another gentle house, and we should be must uh, preach who is Jesus and Jesus uh, salvation us, Jesus came, this, 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 this things we do. And who has uh, believed Jesus and uh, received Jesus, then they uh, must be go heaven and and who is no accept, this is uh, Jesus one day uh, judgment in their heaven, this uh, in his hand. So, so harvest is another uh, no uh, uh, believer and is a uh, labors is we us disciple we are who has working uh, word of god preach we are labor sir yes so as we obey sometimes we may feel discouraged like somehow the people who did not receive the message yes. that somehow they have rejected us like somehow we have failed. Mm. But this verse is saying, no, it is not true. If you have brought the message and they have rejected the message, you can be sure that God has given them the opportunity, mm. that you have done your part and you are not failed, you have obeyed. Mm. And you can just continue down the street go to the next person go to the next village be absolutely sure that the kingdom of god is coming through you to new people if they reject it no problem for you just continue on do not become discouraged do not become defeated do not quit god is using you be sure you know the kingdom of God is advancing through you, even if they reject. Do not become discouraged. Amen? Amen. God is working. And we can, uh, when they do not receive us, it is still okay. The kingdom of God is moving. He is coming to people. If they reject it, one day they will be accountable for rejecting that opportunity but we do not need to be discouraged. We just continue to the next house until someone receives us. And then we remain with that person and teach them and heal and bless. And then they see, they show others and invite others into the kingdom of God. Wow, this is a wonderful passage. And the observations that you have made are so clear so powerful praise the lord so now let us go to the final section the third part of our meeting let's look at that again here so now we are going to look at this section now this section we have here is called look forward so we want to look forward in this part of our meeting and we want to ask specifically how will we obey from this passage in the next few days how will we obey this passage 
And then we want to ask, who will we teach this very passage to ourselves? Who can we show Luke chapter 10 and this lesson we have learned today? How can I share that with someone else? And we want to be specific. We want to try to give a specific goal and maybe even a name of a person that we want to speak to. So think of a name of somebody. Um, and then we want to pray for one another and send each other out to obey this passage. So let's look here at this matter of looking forward. And I, so I want to ask you, first of all, how will you obey this passage? How will you personally, in the next few days, obey what God has taught you uh, in this passage? Can you, can someone share with our group here at this time, how will you obey this passage? Can you think about that? Can we pray even now that the Holy Spirit would lay on our hearts? Let me pray. Lord, I thank you for this chapter 10. I thank you for the truth that you are revealing to us, that we have shared very powerful truths about you. As your, I ask you to help each one of us several days, Holy Spirit, that we would obey what you are teaching us. And I pray we might know that even right now. In Jesus' name, amen. How would you obey what God is teaching you here today? Can you share that? Someone share that with us? Personally, how will you obey? Uh, well, I I will what I will do is, uh, I will share the word of God with my with my neighbor next door neighbor. Okay, brother. I. I yeah. So the name of the the boy is Ritik, and he is uh, a nineteen or twenty years old. And he's a non-believer. Praise the Lord, Rajan. That is exactly what we are asking the Holy Spirit to do and to lead. And uh, pray for you at reaching out to your praise. Thank you. Someone else in a specific way, exactly as Rajan has, uh, has indicated, I will, and he is saying, I will speak specifically to this person. Can someone else, yes. in a similar way, share how you will obey? Yes, sir. So, yeah. I will go 
for the preach the word of god those who are not known now about jesus says anyone specifically who does are you thinking about anyone specifically at this time yes sir praise the lord sir okay yes sir brother uh, according to my understand sir and uh, by faith uh, by faith we should go out uh, uh, to uh, out and to the the village to village and share the gospel and completely we should depend upon the lord yes and and we should not worry about the worldly thing but we should fulfill the god's will and plans to save the people those who are perish, uh, uh, perishing in this world Amen, Brother Yesudis. Is there any particular way God would want you to obey that yourself? So, according to my understanding, sir, by faith. Yes. Maybe, is there a village God is laying on your heart? Or maybe some person? Um, or or in or something specific to yourself excuse me sir yes <clears throat> sir actually i i believe jesus and i accept jesus and almost i will doing jesus ministry but my nephew my family my religion others maybe my village they they are hindu some people is buddhist mm -hmm. so uh, every day i cannot go there uh, in almost uh, by train two days then after by uh, take a uh, bus and uh, taxi so very long day but i will pray personal pressure yes personal pray my nephew my maybe my sister and i in the assam and another my relative my uh, sister son daughter uh, my many my cousin and some people the buddhist and hindu no sir so and sometimes i call mobile but uh, i preach also but they cannot respond yes that people are i am doing a personal pray when i have time when i i like uh, oh today i will pray so that time i pray so jesus uh, they accept to jesus also yes so uh, this is is uh, obey is our if I believe Jesus. I love Jesus. Then I obey, obedience. And this is, uh, I, I think, sir, this chapter. Hey, yes, Aruna, this is very, uh, very much from this passage because the Lord told us to pray. So your choice, your decision to pray specifically for the family that you have yes. is a wonderful step of obedience. It's specific. I will pray for my family. It's exactly from this passage. So praise the Lord. That is a wonderful uh, response. I know the spirit is leading. I will pray for my family. Um, that is what we are, are looking for, that specific uh, step of obedience. Um, and uh, that is excellent. Anyone else? Any other specific obedience to this passage? 
Yes, sir. Yes, I Andrew. Share this. And, uh, sir, you know, from this passage, uh, the heart, uh, the obedience that uh, my heart is uh, speaking to me yes. is that. God spoke to me through my uh, through my heart through my conscience is that, and since the, uh, before uh, preaching the word of God, no matter what the situation is, every mm -hmm. opportunity, wherever I can find, I will keep on uh, preaching the word of God. Either people receive uh, people reject me or not, people uh, reject the word of God or not. Wherever the opportunity I got it, I will, I am going to preach uh, his words as long as I have last uh, as long as I have my bread. This is what I have uh, strong determination in my heart, sir. Yes. And yes. Specific area that I focus in my heart is that uh, in Assam, Kasar Kasar area, Kasar Valley. There's so many peoples, non Christians are there. I study out there in Kasar. And I was sent for field visits and for as a as an assignment. So I have gone through with uh, so many in several villages and interview with them. Their faith, they, when they share their faith, how the world, how the universe are being created. Oh, it seemed very funny, but I could not uh, I could not laugh in front of them. But they don't literally know what is uh, what God has done. So I, I, my heart, mm, uh, God mm. speaks through my heart that I need to teach them. I, I must reach to them. This is what I have been praying so that uh, if God's open the door for me, I will be able to reach out there in the non-Christian villages out there in Kasar Valley, sure. Praise the Lord. Wow, that's a great and a great readiness. And maybe even... Even where you are now, he could send someone to you who's from that area uh, as you are ready to speak. And God could even begin to open that door for you. You've already been there. So um, praise the Lord yes. that God, uh, you will preach the gospel in Kasar Valley as God will open that door for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good. Is there anyone else who has that specific step of obedience? Amen. How about, as we have studied Luke chapter 10, one of the questions is, who can I share? Um, who can I share um, this truth with, um, with another person? What we have just learned in Luke chapter 10, is there another believer that you could, who's not part of this class, that you could teach this wonderful truth from Luke chapter 10? Can you think of that person? Maybe just give a name. Just a name of one person that you can tell what we just learned today. Can you think of that person? Who could you tell what we have learned here today? Um, they would probably be already a believer, and you could teach them what we just learned today. Who could that be? Can you think of that person? Yes. Uh... I I have a name. I've got a name, and uh, his name is Joab. He's a 19 year old believer coming to my church. He's a he's a youth, and uh, yeah. recently he has taken admission in uh, in a computer class. Yes. So he started going uh, for the classes from today itself. Today was uh, I think today, no no yesterday itself. So yesterday and today was his second day. So I will share whatever we have learned here today from yes. Luke chapter 10. And I will, I will, you know, 
uh, I will ask him if he takes the responsibility and he could share the word of God with the people there, the students yeah. that he we go with. Yes. yes. So Joyab is the person that I will share it with. Amen. Wow. Lord. Someone else. Someone even by name you will share this with. Yes, sir. Yes. The names uh, of my friend is Lat Guang Pao. Okay. And he's my senior. Yes. And he more a lot before I went for my geological study. And now he is uh, migrated to a nearby neighboring village. And I have already booked him and I talked over the phone that brother, shall I, I just want to have a discussion with you, a Bible discussion mm -hmm. with you. And yes. he, is, will, he is willing, willingly accepted me. But since we are living in a village, this, this is the season for harvesting and they are harvesting and uh, we don't uh, have an, uh, a prop we don't have a suitable time for us because in the daytime we work at night time we feel tired so i'm longing yeah. for the right yeah. time so that i i could have a quality time with him sharing this yeah. uh, the word of god so please pray for that sir yes okay amen this uh lu, lu kong pao his name? Lad Gong Pao. Lad, Lad Gong Pao. Okay. All right. Praise the Lord. Excellent. Amen. Anyone else? Some specific person that you can teach what we have learned here today from Luke chapter 10. Okay. I am just wanting to be very specific with our class so that as you are leading others, making disciples, you can follow this same pattern as you do a Bible study. Um, and that is why we want to be very specific so that this kind of Bible study, as we come down here to the end, you ask these questions how will you obey and it should be something like i will i will do this specifically um even like rajan has said i will share with my neighbor um and uh, i will speak specifically to Joab. So being very specific. And then um, and then we need to pray for one another as we go out and we obey together. Um, so that is this section, this final section of our disciple making meeting. Um, very, very important here. OK, good, good. All right. Well, let us um, pray here um, and then uh, praying specifically here for these individuals that we'll be talking to, Joab, Legong Pao, um, praying also for um, Brother Siwak talking about, I will go to those who do not know that God would lead him to that. Brother Yasudis, complete dependence on, on Jesus as we go village to village, praying the Lord would lead Brother Yasudis in that. Um, Maruna praying specifically for her family. Um, 
So let's pray for that. And let's pray uh, that Pastor, all... One more, one more, one more name, I think, uh, that skipped yes. out. Uh, Rithik, Rithik, my next-door neighbor. Rithik yes. is the name. I'll be Rithik. sharing... Yes. I'll be sharing the gospel with him. Yes. Amen. For Rithik. Amen. Um, so let's pray for these individuals here. Um, as we um, as we finish this uh, this type of our Bible study here, um, praying specifically uh, for these uh, individuals, I wonder, uh, Brother Yasudis, could you lead us in a prayer uh, for these specific requests here that we have just mentioned here? Um, and our brother and sister have mentioned, if you could lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thanks and glorify your name, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and thank you for your blessing, Father Lord. Mm -hmm. Father Lord, whatever today our professor, he taught us, Father Lord, and whatever your command and to go and share the, your word, Father Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, use us as an instrument, Father Lord. Whatever today we learn and we are able to share among the people, Father Lord. Yes. And especially I pray for uh, the Pastor Razan and uh, the two brother and Joy and uh, one another brother. And he's yes. going to share the, your word. Lord, you, Father Lord, you bless him, anoint him mm -hmm. in power, use him, Father Lord, as instrument. Yes. And one who hear mm -hmm. this word, your word, Father Lord, you, they should accept you as a personal savior, Father Lord. Yes. And Father Lord, and day by day, they should rooted in you and grow in you, Father Lord, for your glory, Father Lord. And yes. Father Lord, and uh, one brother, he is sure, and uh, his uh, different place is going to share the word of God. And Father mm -hmm. Lord, and the brother alone, and Father Lord, use him, Father Lord, mm -hmm. a mighty and Father Lord, give him your knowledge and wisdom, Father Lord. And Father mm. Lord, and Father Lord, and whatever, and he share, and uh, discuss, and debate, Father Lord. And Father Lord, only glorify your name, Father Lord. Father yes. Lord, my Father Lord, and bless to bless, wherever I go, Father Lord. And you bless yeah. me, and Father Lord. And uh, we are able to win the people for your kingdom, Father Lord. And yes. Father Lord, entire the class and, and those who are again the, the request and the prayer request have Father Lord and everything I commit your mercy hand and yes. Father Lord bless us together and use us as an instrument Father Lord for your glory yes. in Jesus name Amen 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 Thank you Thank you Well we are coming here to the end of our uh, set of classes here, and I just wanted to review with you how we have been looking over through six modules of teaching. The first module was speaking about your end vision. What do you want to see God do in your region? How many churches? How will he transform lives? What is your end vision? We started with that module one. Then in module two, we talked about sometimes we are too busy. We are too busy with other things in life that we are not doing the big rocks, the big rock of abundant seed sowing, the big rock of prayer, on how to make the most important things have a place in our lives. Then module number three. We talked about prayer. The greatest big rock is the matter of prayer and having a prayer list, having a prayer plan, and being very clear about prayer. Then number four, module number four, was about abundant seed sowing, about giving your testimony, about a clear gospel plan that you can 
to give the gospel with and then teach others to give the gospel with. So sowing the seed of the gospel abundantly and reproducibly. Then number five, module number five, was the matter of a person of peace. This key person who will welcome us, we even see that in Luke chapter 10, the person who receives us, who receives the message, and they become the key to a whole new community. They become, they establish the kingdom of God in a new village. That person of peace is the key. Then number six, the final module was the three-part disciple-making meeting. We look back, we evaluate, we care for one another, we talk about obedience, we look up, that is looking into scripture, we ask those simple discovery questions, and then we look forward and we make plans to obey. I will obey, I will share, I will pray. I will go. And so that is our three-part disciple-making meeting. And all of this works together to enable us to be disciples that make more disciples that make more disciples. And we have a multiplication of the gospel and disciples across a village, across a region, across a city. Um, and in that way, we have a massive kingdom impact, making disciples that multiply. I have a, a, a couple, let me share another video with you here um, that would be um, just evaluating our, um, our disciple making ministry. Um, just two final videos here. Let me go ahead and play one of these here for you um, at this time. And um, so I will share this. Let's look at this. and we are here in module six how to start your disciple making group this is lesson four and we're talking about evaluating adjusting and how you want to keep going it's important that you evaluate what you're doing as you're working on disciple making movements now i hope in the last lesson after you did it you went ahead and you have had now your first disciple making group using the three-part lesson as we talked about it probably didn't go perfectly. It's something new, something you're not used to, and that is totally okay. Keep on going, keep on doing them. It'll become much more natural. In fact, it'll become so natural that when you bring new believers into that and they do that from the very beginning, they won't even know there's any other way of doing a disciple-making movement or of doing church. So it will feel more natural, but it might not feel that way at first. In fact, you may want to actually have that chart in front of you when you go through it so you don't forget any of those important parts. So you do want to evaluate after you've gone along a while. Now I want to mention it's important not to evaluate too early in the process. You want to have done this for several months. I would suggest at least six months before you do a serious evaluation, but do take time to evaluate. And I've given you a PDF that'll ask some key evaluation questions to help you make adjustments and tweaks to the way you're doing things to help you move forward in seeing multiplication happen. Don't get stuck in a rut. Even things that you really like, you might have to cut out and make changes to if they're not working, if it's not bearing fruit, if people aren't coming to know Jesus or they're not multiplying, they're not starting to share Jesus with others, you might have to change, for example, your ev evangelism strategy to something that's simpler, something that reproduces better. So evaluation and adjustment are so important. But even more important is that you keep on going. Don't give up and don't quit. 
Like I said before, disciple making movements are kind of like a marathon. In the beginning, it's kind of it's hard going. And you you may want to you may feel like I'm just not seeing progress. This isn't working. Don't give up. Make adjustments, evaluate, do something different, but keep on going. And as you do that, I know that God is going to fulfill the dream that he's put on your heart. So I have one final thing I want to share with you about in the next lesson, and I want to pray for you before we end this course. So go ahead and move on to the next lesson. All right, very good. I'm going to show the next and the final video here um, to you. Uh, and I want to just see here. I have already sent to you the evaluation document um, that I sent to the class through Brother uh, Punchok. So you will have that evaluation question document already. Um, so let me go ahead and get our final. Uh, the last of the videos here up. Let's uh, let's watch that at this time here. <laughs> And we are here at the end of Module 6. Module 6 has been all about starting our first disciple making group. And you've made it. You're here at the conclusion. And I want to share with you a prayer. And I want to share a few little things that will just encourage you as you move forward from this point onward. You've come a long way. And again, I'm so honored to have been able to journey with you. There's a couple scriptures that mean a lot to me as I've walked on this journey of disciple making movements. And it is a, a long journey. You've got a lot ahead of you still, even though you've gotten started. And it's important that you lay hold of these things that the Word of God says as you move forward. Galatians 6 9 is one of my favorite verses for disciple makers. It says this it says, Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Not giving up is so important. There's going to be times when you feel like you want to give up, like you're not seeing the kind of fruit you want to see. There's going to be times of warfare, times of spiritual attack, maybe even persecution that you'll face. But do not give up. Don't get weary in doing God good because God has a harvest for you and it's worth whatever it takes to get to that harvest, to that transformation that you dreamed with God about in the first module when you did your end vision. Don't grow weary in doing good. And the second verse, again, one of my life verses is Philippians 1, 6. It says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. He who began a good work in you is going to complete it. You can be confident of this. He's the one who started this. He's the one who put that vision and that dream inside your heart to see a movement. And he is going to bring it to completion. So don't give up. Be confident. Persevere and move forward. So I just want to pray these scriptures over you and pray a prayer of blessing for you as we conclude. And then I have one more thing to ask you to do. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for each student who has gone through this course and for their faithfulness to you, their passion after you, and their desire to multiply disciples among the lost. Thank you for everything that they've invested and everything that they will invest. And Lord, I pray that they will not get weary in doing good, but they'll press on until they see the harvest that they've been dreaming about, that they've been hoping for. Lord, I pray you will give them perseverance. You will give them faith. You will give them hope, Lord Jesus, and that they will have confidence in their heart that what you started, you're going to continue and you're going to complete, Lord God. So give them that faith. Give them that confidence, I pray, even today and in each of the days to come. Bless them. Bless their team. Encourage and inspire them. And I pray, Lord, that they would see many, many more disciples multiplied than they've even hoped for and dreamed of. 
Give them that faith and that hope. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God is going to do it. He's the one in charge. He's the one who starts movements, and he can do this through you. I have one last thing I want to ask of you as we wrap up and conclude this course. We have a feedback survey that it would really help us. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful encouragement um, from uh, C. Anderson there. We can persevere. God will give us faith and hope and confidence. He will complete the work that he is doing. I think of Brother Andrew here today who shared about his burden uh, for the Kasar Valley. And uh, God surely wants to use, uh, use him there in that region of Assam, we, God will, we just, God says, you will reap a harvest if you don't faint, don't quit, don't give up, um, and God will complete it, so praise the Lord uh, for that. Now, I know that you have these various uh, videos of the various classes and the training that we have shared here. Um, I have encouraged you to get the end vision to plan your prayer, your prayer plan, your evangelism plan, um, and then understanding your three-part meeting. I want to encourage you to take this outline for the three-part meeting that we have just talked about here today um, and use that outline to have a disciple-making meeting. One of the... Um, uh, one of the lessons that I would have, one of the documents I sent to you has in it a series of studies um, that are, um, that can show you some other passages um, for, uh, for Discovery Bible Study. Um, there was a document I sent you called 21 Discipleship Studies. Um, and these studies were listed here for you. These are some passages that you could use for discovery Bible study. And then here was 26 studies at the bottom of that document for bringing someone from creation to Christ. And these studies would lead someone to understand who Jesus is and to depend on him as personal Lord and Savior. So you could use those discovery Bible studies in the same three-part meeting that we have just been talking about. So I want to give you that assignment to have your first three-part meeting, um, if you have not yet done that yet, um, and uh, share that with others. So next week, I believe, will be our last time together uh, for this class. Um, so I look forward to uh, just hearing your testimonies uh, once again. and. Uh, Trust that you will uh, take this training um, and use it in your own lives and your ministry. May we see disciples multiply. So praise the Lord uh, for that. Thank you for your patience here today. Um, I know you've been in class sitting there for a long time <laughs> today. Uh, so thank you for that. All right. Okay. Well, I believe we are finished here. So... Um, I think I will turn it over to Brother Victor if he is still here. And uh, yes, sir, I'm thank here. You. Yes. Yeah. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Thank uh, you. Thank amen. You, sir. Amen. A joy to hear your testimony. So praise the Lord. God bless each of you. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much.